Hey, you. Please, tell me that you've reconsidered. What, about Nick adopting Hope? <gasps> no! About coming here today. Jackie, stop worrying, all right? Massimo is a very, very perceptive man, and I know how you are with all your little quips and your jokes and things. Just relax. He can't suspect anything. I have no intention of coming over and tweaking your old man. Today is all about hope. Please just stay away. Make an excuse. Jackie, are you kidding me? This is huge. Nick has managed to do what no one else has. He's... He's guaranteed me a place in Hope's life. You know, I mean, it's kind of ironic that I have to let him adopt her, but um, I think it's worth it. I, for some reason, I trust him. You can. And you can trust me. I hope so. I'll see you later, lover. interested because you always have the books about this. I'm interested in, in all this bacteria business and sushi because I, I personally don't like sushi. When we need some medical we have an <gasps> Hello. Oh, it is the guest of honor, darling. This is for you. You're not even a grandmother yet and you're already spoiling her. Well, I don't think that Hope minds, do you, darling? <laughs> Let's go inside. Come on, sweetie. See ya. Deacon here yet? No, and from what I understand, he's not very reliable, so why don't we get started? Oh, oh, we can wait. I think what your mother is trying to say is that she would prefer if you were not here. And I must say I agree with that. He's Hope's father. Not for long. He is signing his rights away. Isn't that the deal you made? And from this day forward, he's going to be a part of this family. I am not going to ask this man to stay away from his daughter because I wouldn't want anybody doing that to me. Okay. Dominic? You and he are not alike in any way, okay? That man cannot be trusted. Well, we all made mistakes that we're not proud of. Uh-huh. Mom understands that, right? What? Well, I understand you went to bat for Deacon to get him a position at Maroney's. Obviously, you see some potential there. Oh, darling, I mean, personal matters, business matters, they're two completely different things. Indeed. <clears throat> Would you excuse me? Where are you going? Um... I think I'm just going to lie down for a minute. I'm not feeling very well. Lie down? What are you talking about? You can't miss this. What's the matter with you? I'm down with something. I don't know. Like what? I feel fine. Now listen, this is a big day. Be a father. We're putting this family together. Isn't that what you yeah, wanted yeah, your yeah, whole you're life? Right, you're right. You're right. You're right. Relax, will you? Okay. Deacon. Hey. hey. Glad you made it. It's this for the world. All right, thank you. There she is. Hey, hey come here, Curly Q. Look at you. Oh. Show Daddy your cute little dress. Can you do a little turn? Oh, <laughs> that is a beautiful dress for a beautiful little girl. No, little Eric? Nope, he's uh, spending some time with his grandma Tilly tonight. Well, she'll have plenty of time to play with her older brother. Yeah. Sure. Awesome, Mo. Good to see you. You know Jacqueline? Ah, uh, Jackie. Here, these are for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, let's let's get this thing started. Okay. Come on. Good. Hey, let's get going. Huh? Everybody, uh, I guess have a seat. Get comfortable. There we go. Well, thank you all for coming. It means a lot. And um, it's usually the bride that changes her name, but in this case, we're all going to do it. Brooke and Hope, me and our son, we're all going to be Maronis. Long before I knew Massimo was my father, his name was one that stood for loyalty, courage, and integrity. 
I, sir, am honored. We all are. To be part of this long, proud tradition. Congratulations. Welcome.